Hello everyone, I wanted to share a video on Adobe Premiere Pro. I ran across a problem uh, with uh, losing my render files. Uh, I had a file rendering all night and it was close to being done and uh, it crashed on me. Uh, this apparently is uh, a fairly common problem. Uh, I'm going to share with you a workaround that I basically figured out on my own. It's not uh, it's not a quick solution, but it is uh, a time saver. It will it will prevent you from having to re-render your entire project. Uh, so I'm going to open the uh, uh, most recent project that I had. It's a video I'm working on right now. So I know that my render files exist, but for whatever reason, they are not connecting to my project. Uh, as you can see here, I minimize my timeline here. This is my project. Now you can see all the yellow and red. Now watch what happens when it finishes uh, loading all the media. All right, so it loads all the media and look, I got all this red on my timeline and I know almost all of this had been previously rendered uh, yeah so I was not happy after hours of research and basically coming up empty-handed uh, I came up with a sort of workaround uh, I'm gonna show you what I did here okay so I know that my media is in the same folder as my project. All right, uh, I just have my project called Media Test. Okay, so my rendered files are going to be in the folder called uh, Premiere Pro Video Previews. Okay, so click on that, and it says Media Test .prv. Okay, in this file are all the rendered files, and you can see when I started the render uh, last night 855 and so on and so forth all throughout the night these are all in order up until 816 this morning so all these got rendered but for whatever reason they're no longer connected to the project uh, again I did an exhaustive search trying to find a solution to this and basically came up empty-handed so I came up with a uh, at least a partial solution that will uh, prevent me from having to re-render all this stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep that window open. I'm going to create another sequence on my timeline here. So we're going to go new sequence and I'm just going to call this render it's already I've already got it selected for my sequence settings on my main project all right so now that I've got that I'm gonna move back over here and now this is the thing in order for these to be in order you want them to start from the earliest to the latest so I'm gonna click date modified until it starts from last night alright that's important alright now I'm going to edit select all and now I'm gonna grab those and I'm going to just throw them on the timeline alright so I'm gonna lay those down now in theory let's uh, expand these. Now in theory these will be uh, these should be in the order that they are uh, in your project. Uh, it's not an exact crossover but you can find uh, sequences where they do line up. So if I go back to my main project I've actually uh, locked down my other uh, video layers here and I'm going to be adding them to the very uh, very top layer so if I 
stretch this out and I follow my timeline here and if I go over to my rendered timeline again said it may not be an exact science but it should help you get realigned with where you left off all right so I'm holding up this tape all right so looks like we're leaving off on this I've got a close-up of this camera here So let me find that spot. Let me back up. I'm going to grab that clip and the next several after. I'm going to Command C, copy, go back to my main timeline. I'm going to move it a little offset here. I'm going to paste it down. All right, now you notice the red line disappeared, right? All right, now I have to close the gap here. These are still highlighted. If I move this over and connect the gap, red line disappears. So in theory, this should be lined up. Could keep up with the demands of recording video by recording super fast. The controls are very simple. And there we go. So now, if you follow your render timeline, uh, you can grab it all at once or a little bit at a time. Make sure you're all lined up. And uh, you just saved yourself a bunch of headaches and re-rendering. Uh, so that's it. Uh, I wanted to share that with you guys. I know that there's uh, a lot of other editors that have run into this problem uh, with Premiere and it's extremely frustrating and aggravating because uh, as near as I can tell uh, Premiere Pro does not auto save while it's rendering at least that's the at least that's uh, looks like the case to me so I thought I'd share that with you guys uh, anyway thanks for watching uh, be sure to subscribe to Nowhere Video Productions and uh, we'll see you next time I hope you found this interesting. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to Nowhere Video Productions for more, and we'll see you next time.